Hi there, this is Terry from stampinmagic.com. Welcome back to my channel. Today's project is this beautiful Christmas card. I used the Dashing Deer stamp set for the main image and for the sentiment. And then I also used the Buffalo Check background stamp. So let's get started. I've mounted my Buffalo Check background stamp onto one of my Stamparatus plates and I'm just putting the case underneath that plate and this keeps the plate level and makes it much easier to ink it up. Then I have a piece of normal weight Whisper White cardstock and I'm going to add just a little temporary adhesive onto the back and then I'm going to position this onto my Stamparatus. I already made a pencil mark in the top right hand corner to show me exactly where I need to place my cardstock to stamp the image. I'm going to use different colours to my original card and I'm starting with Smoky Slate ink and I'm going to ink up my stamp and then stamp it down onto the Whisper White card. Now because Smoky Slate is quite a light grey I decided to ink it up again and stamp it over the top. This is one of the things I love about the Stamparatus. As long as you don't move that cardstock that you're stamping on, you will stamp in exactly the same place time and time again. Now the size of the Whisper White cardstock I used here is actually bigger than I need. I've done this because um, this means that it doesn't matter too much if I haven't mounted my background stamp completely straight because I can cut it down to size later on and make any adjustments that I need. Now while I've got that stamp handy I want to also stamp a little piece for the inside of the card. So I'm just going to ink up the middle of the stamp and then I'm going to carefully lay that cardstock strip down onto the stamp trying to get it straight with the pattern. Again it won't matter too much if it's slightly crooked because I'm going to trim this down and then I'm just covering it with some copy paper and smoothing over with my hand just to make sure I get a good impression. And there you go. Now on my other Stamparatus plate I've already mounted my deer and also on the reverse of that plate I've mounted the sentiment. So I have another piece of normal weight Whisper White cardstock and I've positioned it into the corner of the Stamparatus and anchored it with one of the magnets. I'm using Coastal Cabana ink for the deer. I'll just clean off that stamp using my Stampin' Up chamois and then I'll flip that plate around so I can stamp the sentiment. Now although it didn't matter too much if I stamped my background stamp slightly crooked, it does matter if my sentiment is not straight. So I'm going to show you what I do to ensure that it's always stamped in exactly the place that I want it to be. I have a piece of window sheet or acetate and I lay that right in the corner on top of my image mat. And then I'm going to ink up my sentiment stamp using a dark ink, so I'm just using Memento Black for now. and then I stamp it down onto the acetate and I can see the sentiment clearly because I use that dark ink and I can see whether it's straight or not and if it's not then I can adjust it as required. When I'm happy with the positioning I can just clean off that acetate ready to use another time and remove it 
and then I can ink up my sentiment stamp and I'm going to use Smoky Slate again. And then I can stamp it down onto my cardstock. And if necessary, I can go again and stamp it over the top. One other thing about this Buffalo Check background image is that it looks even more am amazing if you draw lines of a contrasting colour through the rows of light blocks. So I'm using my Coastal Cabana Stampin' Right marker and I'm aligning the image with my grid paper to help me draw a straight line and then positioning my ruler and just drawing the line. And I'm going to do this through each of the light rows of blocks. And once I've finished one side, I'll just spin it around and go again in the opposite direction. I can now start to put this card together and I'm going to begin with the inside of the card. I have half a sheet of A4 Smoky Slate cardstock and I've scored it to create a portrait card base. I have a Whisper White mat and then I have the little Whisper White strip that I stamped earlier and I've just trimmed this down to size. And I have a strip of Coastal Cabana cardstock. So I'm going to layer the stamped strip onto the Coastal Cabana just so the colour is showing above the stamped strip. And then I'm going to use my guillotine just to trim that down to the size I want. And as always, I don't measure any of this for the inside of the card. I just tend to use up odd scrap bits of cardstock that I've got. Then I'll add this completed strip to the bottom of my Whisper White mat and position it inside my card. For the front of the card, I have my stamped background mat and I've trimmed this now down to the size I wanted. And I'm going to layer this onto a Coastal Cabana mat and then position this onto the front of the card base. I'm also going to layer the image panel onto a Coastal Cabana mat. And then I'll add some dimensionals onto the reverse and position this onto the front of my card base. To finish off the card, I have some of our silver foil. On the reverse, I've added some of our multi-purpose adhesive sheets. Now this is a double-sided adhesive that you just cut down to the size you want. And it's really useful for those fiddly embellishments. Of course, if you haven't got it, then all you need to do is use your normal wet glue to adhere it to your card. So I'm going to punch out several of these. I think I need four in total, but I already have one on the side. Then I'm going to cut each of them in half to separate the sprigs. And then I'm just going to decide where I want to place them on the card and put them in that position. Once I'm happy with the placement, I can peel off the backing from each piece 
and then stick it into position. And that's my card complete. Now I've already made several more of these. This one I used exactly the same colours, I just reversed everything. And then we have my original card with the red reindeer which is Merry Merlot. And I've created another one again reversing the colours. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this project. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notifications bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. Bye for now.